Are you ready to earn your death license? It's not what you think. You have to kill people. This is our review of I Am Death Now. I Am Death Now? I Am Death Now is a take that set collection race to the finish where you're a student death trying to earn your death license. At the start of each game, each player receives one death student and five test subjects. The goal of the game is to be the first player to kill all of your test subjects. You kill your test subjects by inflicting pain on them using pain cards. The different colors match up to the different symbols on the test subjects, and you have to get the total number of points on there in order to eliminate them. During their turn, each player starts out with five cards, and then they can keep playing as many cards as they want until either they run out of cards or they discard one card to signal the end of their turn. Players don't have to play any cards if they don't want to. You keep going around the table counterclockwise until one player has eliminated all of their test subjects. So I originally came across the game in Kickstarter. I saw this little guy here and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's take a look and see what it was. I got the one that also has the booster pack, so that came with an extra six player, I believe, plus some other extra cards. One thing that really stood out to me was I really like the artwork of these little, nope, not those, of these test subjects. You know, they're, they're colorful and then they match the pain cards, which are also very colorful too. You know, even though there isn't a lot of artwork on here, it's very simple. It tells you what, what the card does, what it's called. This one says ghosted. One thing that I did notice that when you did add that booster pack, you got a really thick deck to shuffle. <laughs> the test subjects, all of them are unique and different, cute little artwork. They're all fun to look at. And the little death thing. So even though I had seen some of these pictures online and social media, seeing them in person on the cards, really nice high quality cards with the linen finish. I really thought they did a good job with the presentation of everything. Even though it's just a card game, it's still really fun. Even if you look at the test subjects who you're trying to kill, their cards are on little tombstone shapes. So when you kill them, they're little tombstones. So I really like the creativity that went into the thought process for the card development with this game. It's pretty straightforward with the symbols and colors. That's why I really like it. It doesn't have to be something that's really complicated. However, there were a lot of permutations or rules where we had to be like, well, what happens when we do this? Well, what happens when this happens? And when you look at the rules, you're just like, I don't know. There are a lot of instances where house rules can kind of take effect as you're going along through it. You can run into, okay, I played this card and this card and this card, and what happens when this happens? And the rules don't necessarily have that. There are a couple little permutations in the rule book, but not enough to cover all of the different cards that are in gameplay. Some of the cards are immediate cards that need to be played right away. So what'll happen is I'll draw five new cards and I'll read, read, and I'll see a cheat, but I, if I don't finish the whole card reading, and it's on me, then I won't know to play it right away. So what happened a couple times is we would play one or two cards and finally we'd get to it and we'd be like, oh, I was supposed to play this right away. So what do we do now? Yeah, no, I don't think that's on you. I think that's uh, an issue with the game. So for their second round, I think that they should relook at their design for the immediate cards. Another thing to note is these uh, test subjects, they have little uh, immunities and pairs with so basically the immunity part is what I'll talk about. When you play a pain card on it, if it has an immunity to that, then technically you can't play it on it. So it's kind of up to the other players to, uh, to keep you honest. And there were times where Teresa would kill a patient or a test subject and we'd be like, hey, you can't put that on there. That mechanic of it had us looking, but then after an hour in, we're like, whatever, just, just put it on. I don't we kept bringing people back to life or we kept adding test subjects. So inevitably someone was getting close to winning, being one test subject away from winning. And then everyone would gang up on that person, give them new test subjects, bring their test subjects back to life. So either that now we have seven test subjects or all five of them are brought back. So the game kept going and going. After an hour, we're like, is this game ever gonna end? I'm sure the more that we played this game statistically, the time would average down a little bit. It's just when we were playing, it just we just happened to keep on going. And maybe it's the way we played too. Maybe we're a little too cutthroat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's waiting, kill him, get him. <laughs> 
Overall, I'm gonna give this game a seven. I think it lives up to other Take That style games like Exploding Kittens, like Unstable Unicorns, like Gloom, like Party Tales. It's in that same genre. Yes, this game went a little long, but at the same time, we draw out uh, Unstable Unicorns for over an hour as well. So I don't, I don't hold that against it. So I think it's a fun Take That style game. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm gonna say 6.5. Yes, I did back it. Yes, I really love the artwork and, and enjoyed the mechanics and everything. It's just when I put it next to the other Take That's that I really enjoyed, mm, it's not there, but it can get there, I do believe. Teresa gives it a zero. And Juliana gives it a 6.23. And that was our review of I Am Death Now. What'd you think? Are you ready to go get your own death license? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. So one thing I did ask Lee when he first presented the game, and we opened it, and we we're handing things out, and I read the rules, it was like, oh, you gotta get your death license. Does it come with a death license? Well, you gotta go on their website, <laughs> and that's where we got our death license. So they do have this, so they did have an answer to my question, it just didn't come in the box. But it is fun that you can go on their website and print one out if you're so inclined to do so. Mm -hmm.